Hi everyone, my name is Tyler and I'm an executive assistant with Everpeak Partners. Today in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to prevent unauthorized account access by setting up a multiple factor authentication or MFA login requirement for your Salesforce users. This is going to be a, an extremely beneficial uh, way to just take extra steps to secure your platform. When a multi-factor authentication is turned on, users are going to be required to provide multiple factors to prove their identity before they can log in. Um, a factor is basically just a, a piece of evidence that you are providing to prove your identity so that you can log into the, into the platform. Uh, the first factor is going to be the user's standard username and password. I have mine blocked out just so that you can't see it. Um, the second factor provides a verification method such as a multiple mobile authentication app or security key and we'll go ahead and log in now and demonstrate how to get that set up for you guys. So now that we've successfully logged into Salesforce, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a permission set that requires a second factor of authentication when they log in, when the user logs in. Uh, to begin this process, we're going to go into setup. So up here in the top right corner by your avatar, you're going to go ahead and click on setup. Once you get up to the setup page over here in the top left corner, you're going to come to the quick find box where you're going to search for permission sets permission sets right here and now we're going to create a new permission set for MFA uh, we're gonna make sure that Salesforce is also created so create new view or I apologize we're gonna click on right here on this new tab right here So for the label and API name and description, we're just going to go ahead and type in multi-factor multi authentication required. And down here, we're going to want to make sure that Salesforce is selected as well. And we're going to click Save. So next, we're going to use the Find Setting box right here uh, to locate the multi-factor authentication for user interface logins permission. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. Multi. Oops. For user. Right there. So the multi-factor authentication for user interface logins. We'll go ahead and click that and select it. Once we've selected it, we are going to scroll back to the top of the screen where we're going to click edit. We're going to scroll back down to that permission. And then we're going to select it again. And we're going to click save. And we'll click save again. So now that we've successfully created the uh, permissions, the next step is going to be assign it to the employees who we'd like to have the two-step uh, multi-factor authentication. By doing that, we're going to come up here and click on Manage Assignments. We're going to click Add Assignments. From here, it's going to bring you to this page where it's going to provide you a list of all of your employees. You're going to select the employees by clicking these check boxes who you'd like to add the MFA second step authentication and you're going to click assign now the next time these employees log into their salesforce platform they are going to be presented with the normal login with username and password and then they're going to be presented with the next step the multi-factor authentication to continue their login with the with the second step the extra set of security if you have any questions about this video or ideas for another video go ahead and feel free to comment down below uh, we'll get back to you about that all right, thanks.